Eight people are under arrest and two more are being sought after after a street gang initiation turned violent. This involves the Puro Blood Latinos, or PBL, with gang members stretching across Pflugerville, Round Rock, and Austin. David Scott reports from AISD headquarters that the gang members might have signed off on their own convictions after putting video of the fight on social media. Dave? That could be, Leslie. Were they brazen and bold or just plain stupid? Who would commit an assault, videotape it, and then put that tape on a social media page like Facebook for all the world and AISD police to see? That landed four juveniles and four adults in the clink, two more on the run. Police say the assaults occurred at this Pflugerville home December 8th. As part of the initiation to join the Puro Blood Latinos, the New Blood voluntarily agreed to be beaten. Then they post the video on social media, something the AISD police are seeing more and more of. And we have seen an increase in uh, gang representation through youth, um, specifically a lot in social media. Um, and that gives us a great indication on what they're representing and what we need to be keeping our eyes uh, looking for. Among the adults charged, Carlos Reyes, who lives at that house. Jonathan Lopez, who was one of the beating's victims and participants. Likewise, Eric Escobar, whose Facebook says he, quote, pimps, hoes, and dope. And Abigail Gonzalez, who allegedly counted off the number of blows to the victims. Police say they've had their eyes on PBL for a while. We have had some previous work with Puro uh, Blood Latino Gang, PBL, um, and as a result, that obviously um, makes us want to stay on top of what's going on. The charges range from assault to soliciting or coercing membership in a street gang, and police say there's a lesson here for parents. The parents need to monitor their children's social networking sites, uh, be aware of who they're communicating with, both in person and on the Internet. AISD police have been monitoring social media for two years now as this becomes more common, and they're learning what to look for. It's paying off. There are two other adult gang members on the run right now. They are considered a flight risk. We were asked by the police not to reveal their names or show you their pictures, so we have not. But police hope to cuff them soon. At AISD headquarters, David Scott, KXAN News.